your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and today we're going to show you how we deal with sinus problems and allergies, which in Houston at this point in time uh, is pretty bad for a lot of people. Jessica has been having problems with hers flaring up here this weekend, getting some little headaches up here, so we're going to show you how we deal with that. So first thing let's do is check your posture, Jessica, and have you flex your head forward and backwards for me. Jessica also came in with a hiatal hernia initially as well, and we'll check her progress with that too. And I know you remember Jeff from our earlier video last week, they worked together. And refer their co-workers over here, which is how we get most of our patients is through referral. is the best way to get to find a good chiropractor is through referral. Also our YouTube videos is a good way to do that too. You can see what we do different than most other chiropractors. We don't do commercials, we actually do treatment. Okay, so we've analyzed her posture and she's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight global distortions from her head down to her pelvis. Yeah, so we are going to decompress her first thing. So let's come over here, Jessica. It's her favorite. <laughs> She's a real trooper. She's done good on this. Pelvis in here tight. Make sure we get the legs up to where they're parallel with the floor that changes the angle in the pelvis which relaxes the paraspinal muscles from the sacrum all the way up to the occiput which is the base of her skull. Let me just towel right under her occiput. I got it wet so I get a better grip on it. Take a deep breath through your nose. There we go. I know you had to hear that one. I didn't talk on purpose so y'all could hear those. And she's still kicking. Alright, so C2 neurologically is connected to the second cervical vertebra or the axis, which you heard right there. That was both sides. That was a palmar diversified adjustment. Cervical rotary break, they call it. Should have felt pretty good, huh? Kind of roll sideways and come over here on your tummy. Face right down in there. And legs are even. That's a good start. Tightens up a little bit right at the end there, huh? Mm -hmm. So she's got just a little pelvic misalignment right here on the sacroiliac joint on the right. So we're going to adjust that one. On the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis on this one. Now you notice I use this drop table. A lot of people say, why well, use that drop table? Because in the physics of biology, which is what biophysics stands for, biology and physics together, an object in motion tends to stay in motion, so when I get the SI joint moving superior to inferior and lateral as well as internal rotation in this SI joint plane just like that, I get the thrust in there, so we're moving the bone that direction and it keeps going once the table drops, so that's the inertia that we're talking about. And then I'm adjusting L5 all the way up through her lumbar spine into her lower thoracic spine, which that was T12. There, that was great. Okay, I'm going to put your head down just a little bit here. Okay. And this upper thoracic. And notice the angles change on all these. That was almost a superior to inferior alignment. And then you notice down here is more I to S alignment. And her legs should be exactly even now, which they are. And this should feel less tight than the previous one. Stay even. That feel better? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So let's turn you on your back now. Okay. 
And we already got her neck, so I'm not going to adjust that again, but I told you we we're going to show you how we work on sinuses. So right here up front are the two most tender sinuses. Take a deep breath through your nose. And I have to do these pretty light the first few times because these are very painful. One the right's worse, huh? Mm -hmm. Usually can feel where the sinuses get really full. Deep breath through your nose again. And just let it go. Oh, I'm sorry, I know this hurts. Okay, one more time. We give the patients some rosy cheeks when they leave. If you do it too hard, you give them a couple of black eyes. <laughs> Deep breath through your nose again. Now, we're working on the sphenoid sinuses right now. Got another one with these in. And here I'm just contacting the corner of the orbital socket and getting right on top of the sphenoid sinus right here. And then we're going to move up into the frontal sinuses. Deep breath through your nose again. Ooh, or the right one here too. Is that tender more on the right? Mm -hmm. Now I usually follow the temporal suture all the way around on this and find several knots. You feel that? Mm -hmm. yeah. So again, just putting some steady, deep pressure right on top of the frontal sinuses. And what you're doing with this is you're not really changing the size or shape of the sinuses, what you're doing is you're just stimulating those sinuses to move the mucus and the mucous membranes that are inside of there so that the patient can breathe more easily through their nose. This is really good for allergy sufferers as well. There it is. Now let's just do a couple of light little points here to find your pulse, make sure it's equalized synchronized from left to right. A lot of times you'll feel it left to right, left to right, and then it'll balance out like right there. And if a person has a headache, that'll usually go away with that. Now also, there's a couple of real sensitive points right here. Those sensitive <laughs> tender. It's right below the clavicle, the subclavicular. Okay, so she's had a high hernia problem, and we've been treating that, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that down again. Deep breath in. Let it all the way out. Okay, there we go. Good job. Excellent. Another one. As you can see, she's gotten to where she relaxes pretty well on this, so I can get way, way deep in there and pull her stomach straight back down through the diaphragm, which is what we adjusted from the rear when I adjusted her lower thoracics is the ribs that attach to the vertebrae in the lower thoracics make up the contact points or the attachments for the diaphragm on the left and right. Good. Okay, so let's turn you back on your tummy now for just a second here. I'm going to work some more muscles in here. You know, uh, we had a request on the last couple of our videos to show you what we would do for a patient having menstrual cramps and she's not having those at this time but I'm going to show you what we do do on those patients so that you can see that. This is L5 and I'm putting some real steady deep pressure in there with my elbow and then I'm moving up to L4 same thing while she's breathing and she just keeps taking breaths in and out. Now here's L3. This specifically supplies the uterus and the ovaries and fallopian tubes, as well as the colon, by the way. So it helps with uh, IBS symptoms, diverticulitis, colitis, a lot of different bowel movement stuff, constipation, diarrhea. When patients have those issues, in conjunction with their low back pain, once we get these vertebrae adjusted back in place down here, the nerve supply to all those organs starts functioning at a higher level, so therefore the organs start functioning the way they're supposed to. Most patients who get adjusted, 
and have this work done on when they're having their menstrual cramps. Their cramps will go away within two or three minutes of doing this. Now I'm down to gluteus medius on the left and then on the right get into the gluteus medius as well which she's been doing a lot of bending and lifting and twisting stuff so we're going to work on those for her anyway. This also helps for premenstrual stuff going on too like PMS and cramps and spotting. And then you go down a little bit lower than that and you get into the piriformis muscle which is the big muscle between the actual hip joint and the sacrum or the middle triangular shaped bone in the pelvis. Okay, perfect. Now let's see here. Yep, even. And tell me if there's any pain at all here. Great. Now, we're just going to do the soft one on her today because I really dug in with my elbows today. So... I'm not going to torture her with the turbonator today. But it's really good to use this deep vibration into the tissues following the more deep myofascial work that I did with my elbows and or thumbs because it gets the blood flowing into the tissues. This brings oxygen nutrition into the tissues. But as important, is able to get the toxins out of the cells just from normal everyday cellular metabolism of the muscles we want to expel the toxic waste products of cellular metabolism and the best way to do that is to improve the blood flow in these areas and our tensor fascia lot over here on this lateral thigh has always been a little sore that's also doing better. Yeah, that's a little tender there, huh? And get in her hamstring and all the way down into her gastrocnemius and soleus, which is the calf muscle. Muscles, I should say. There's more than one muscle in the calf, by the way. Gastrocnemius and then the soleus, which is inside here, is the deep muscle that goes underneath the gastrocnemius. There we go, excellent. Okay, so let's have you sit up and face towards Renee now for a second. Okay, Jessica. I see you can see already her posture immediately improved when she set up. Her chin's up now and her shoulders are back more. So I'm going to adjust her right shoulder in place there, which we just did. The left one. So we get her upper extremities, her lower extremities, now everything's adjusted. Jessica, would you mind sharing with our YouTube audience uh, how that made your sciences feel? Can you breathe through your nose any easier right now? Yeah, definitely. I feel so much better. Like any headache I had up here is gone and I can definitely breathe. And that was my first session. And how's your was... acid reflux That's... now too after this short period of time? We've only been taking care of you for a couple of weeks now. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely been improving like over time and everything. Yeah. yeah pretty much going away. Yep. So thank you for letting us video yeah, you today. You. And this is your Houston chiropractor. We'll see you next time.